What's up, YouTube? Steve we're back Jackie. with another video. No, we're back with more bangers this year. Trust me, trust me. We got some exciting news to tell y'all. <laughs> we moved into our first apartment. Yay. And hopefully after this, it's our house. Yeah, guys, so over the course of the months, I've been like planning to like move out. Uh, a lot of reasons, but you know, we don't want to get into that. But you know, we just got blessed with the opportunity to get a new home and I thought it was gonna be pretty hard, but you know, we just got blessed and it's it's nothing but God's blessing. So we're excited. And today we're gonna give y'all the tour that y'all been waiting for. And just know I'm excited as much as y'all are because this is our journey. And let's see what Jackie has to say about this. What you gotta say, baby? We're blessed and we're gonna keep y'all around with so many more memories. And I'm sweating because Jackie keep y'all around us. with our journey. So I love y'all so much. Y'all stay tuned for the tour. It's about to come out right now. Yeah. What's up, everybody? So we're back. Uh, you know, it's kind of different. We did the introduction, but we ended up getting a lot, hella busy, like stupid busy. And I just started working. And fun fact, my mom and my dad came back from out of town. So I got kind of hectic. You know, we couldn't really just record. I'd rather just spend time with them since I haven't seen them. But, you know, today we're here to show y'all the tour to our new apartment, you know, excited. It's kind of late, but, uh, you know, y'all been waiting for this. And just want to say a quick appreciation to everybody that sent us. What is she doing? Look at her. She swears she can fucking cook. Boy, you have been making these fake-ass burgers. So, anyways, guys, Mom, yeah. Mom, I got some burgers for you. Okay, go. So yeah, hold on, it's not gonna fall. All right, so we're gonna, we're here. Oh wait, man, I'm sorry, baby. Really shaky, So yeah, we're here for the introduction and the tour video, y'all. You know, y'all been waiting, so thank y'all for everybody that's been supporting us and sending us uh, some some appreciation gifts. Uh, she's gonna cut all this shit out, you know what I'm saying? So. Thank y'all, y'all enjoy. Hey. <laughs> Oops. Bruno trying to leave and shit. All right, IT guys. So this is our living room with our couches. So we don't have our TV. Sit down, babe, on the couches. Let them see how it looks on the 4K. Mmm, sexy. So yeah, guys, this is. This is our little living room. I ended up getting these couches, you know, kind of pricey, but they're like a suede. This is like the brand suede, so you... Steven got them cleaned. Yeah, I ended up... Well, I spent a lot of money because I got them deep clean. See? And, um, well, yeah, guys, so what I plan to do in the next week, two, three weeks, <laughs> is I want to put, like, a big TV right here. You know, big TV right here, and, you know, the living room. You know, cause it causes, you know, a nice, a nice, a nice view. You know, you just walk in there, you see a big ass TV and the couches. So, did you fix that? No. Oh, no. So yeah, guys. So that leads me to let me show you the patio real quick before anything. I'm out here in Miami looking for the Gucci daddy. Shut up. So, this is a little patio, right, Bruno? <laughs> Read the shit. So there's my little sexy ass girlfriend. So God, let me show you the view that we have. No view, cause we got a dumb tree. We got a big old tree here, but. Is you know. that a roach? What is that? Bro, this girl is obsessed with roaches, bro. No, so there's a little view, you know, sometimes, oh yeah, there, there's the moon. I'd be just hiding, so. Hey, it's a good spot to just chill, you know, probably put some, some, some chairs, you know, no. drink a little. Twisted tea or something. So this leads me to my beauty room. Bro, I was gonna show my kitchen, but okay. Ooh. You gonna tell them about the the nice mess you have there? Or what? So guys, um, these are all the boxes. Whenever we like move out, if you watch my life, you know. But then this is my vanity area because, you know. Curves or what? Huh? Nothing. 
Show me your vanity. Turn that, turn that bitch on. Brr. Mm. Say what's popping, twin. What's popping, twin? Why don't you show them the vanity? Like, actually, like, hold the mirror and shit. Okay, guys, so this is my vanity desk. Purr. Um, excuse me? Hello? And these are, like, everything that they got us from Amazon. Those are the boots Steven's mom got me. Look how cute these are. From Colombia. From Colombia. So then, there's Steven with his ugly poster. Okay, show them the closet. This is Hurry, I gotta cook the other burger. She's, she says it's just ugly burger. Okay, show them the closet. Okay, so then... There's a closet. I have like my winter clothes in here that I haven't hanged. And my cap and gown. And then this is the closet. But yep. This is like the guest room, so guys. This edit it. You don't even edit it. She's mad because I'm over here telling her to telling her to not keep going with the video. Then you film it by yourself. Okay, what's up? All right, guys, so this is our kitchen. Let me show you our kitchen. This is our table that uh, me and Jackie went to go look at, and we ended up liking it because it look, it matches with the cabinets. Dude, this thing's not getting hot. So, um, at first, I did. I wasn't really fucking with these lights. I didn't go care. I wasn't liking these lights, but, yeah, like I said, the lights weren't really, like, it in the beginning, but I ended up liking it because, you know, it's, it's not, like, too bright. You know, when you wake up or... You know, you do your thing. It's like too bright. It's like, man, what the fuck? So it's like too much. So we kind of just adapted. We started liking these like halogen lights. And plus we liked it, so. Do you like KFC? Yes. You do? Yes. So you try to keep these two bumps? Yes. So y'all know what that means, 72 degrees. You know, keep it not too hot, but not too cold. And uh, yeah, this is Bruno's cage. And let me show y'all our the tour of our kitchen. Wait guys, I found a snowman. Hey! <laughs> we got our chef Ramsey cooking that bitch up. How's it looking? Bad, very bad. Oh, crusty ass baby. No, I'm just kidding. Show them the ones you've done already. No, I put them in the microwave. Oh, this hoe's cold. Move them to the camera. I think she needs some new roses, but I don't know about with the attitude, to be honest. It's another lever. All right, guys, so right here we have our little washer. So our apartment was included with some washers and a dryer. We had a washer and a dryer. Mm -hmm. And there's our soaps, and yeah, it's kind of handy. Some clothes in there, I think, but we already started washing stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Let me show mm -hmm. you how the restroom now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ta-da. So guys, this is our restroom. It's kind of like one of my favorite parts in the in the house. This is because it got like a double sided mirror and then you know double sided counter. And this is our shower. So we got Excuse me, sir. Bro, we're not getting every way. Okay. So yeah, on. this is our shower. I'm out here in Miami, but yeah. All right, guys, so now we have our master room, which is where me and Jackie will sleep. Damn, Bruno. You got the zoom. Oh! Okay, so this is our installation of our TV. And then turn on the light bit. I'll turn it on. I don't 
So this is our bed. I know a little bed. Shut up. And so this is like our little, like a little room. You know, we still want to, we still got to decorate it. This is just like the process of moving in. And God damn, Bruno been acting crazy. Sorry guys, we had to take Bruno out because he is crazy. So yeah guys, so this is like our little. This is our closet. Excuse me? This is our closet? But Steven has so much more clothes than me. Yeah, so Jackie was arranging these while I was, I was working. Put some shoes in here. We still gotta like decorate it more, you know, obviously. This is a process of one week in our apartment, so it's kind of messy, but. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. I plan to put a lot of stuff, you know, here, decorations. And the same way I have this TV is the same way I'm gonna put it in the living room, but I'm gonna get an 85 inch. Oh, this is. Yeah. This is like an 85. This is like a 55 inch. I'm not done hanging the clothes though, so don't come for us. <laughs> yeah, guys. Yeah, guys. So like I said, this is just like a weekend, so it's kind of messy. So just excuse us and excuse the mess. Damn, bro. Get it, wait. Come on. I'm nuts. Got nothing. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Bye. Turn the lights off, babe. You don't get off to the lights off. For the patio. Look at this little de decoration that they bought us. Uh, you know, to so the supporters that have been, like I said, to so the supporters that have been buying some stuff, y'all been helping us out a lot, so thank y'all. Yeah, shout out to Vivian for my vanity. Yeah, shout out to Vivian. Vivian! <laughs> Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah guys so that's like a little tour it's not too much of a tour it was only like a two bedroom and a one one bed so sorry for the short but we're gonna do a q a so y'all stay tuned to the end of the video y'all better watch the whole damn video and hit that subscribe button and that like button for team steve and jackie Team Jackie only, thank you. Shut up, Team Steve all the way, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, thank y'all for, you know, the support. We got so much stuff. We got planned, you know, holidays are coming. And, you know, we're going to start decorating this way more, you know. Babe! Congrats to our first appointment. Fall! We get to decorate. Yeah, we get to decorate your face with a pumpkin. <laughs> and then I can decorate a pumpkin and put it here, like... Ah, uh, you seen that video before? What? What video? Ah, oh, my hell no. Like... What's in there? Uh, you know, you're seeing your gay. She for the streets. You're gay. You're for the streets. You're for the streets. Bruno's for the streets, right? <laughs> all right, guys. So I just want to show y'all like all these questions. <laughs> why you put your hey? Why you put your head on? Look, these are all the questions we got, and you know, as y'all can see, y'all yeah, see for y'all. So you know what I'm saying. All right, stop. You see, it's kind of like a lot of questions. So I don't think we'll be able to cover all of them. But, you know, we'll cover the ones that we feel like are Can more... Can I sit with you? Yes. More important to talk. So, well, I'm going to do I'm going to get a phone check. <laughs> so, we're going to start with what does this next step look like for your relationship? Hmm? Babe, for real. Ba all right, all right. Wait, what was the question? What does this next step look like for your relationship? You answered that whole phrase. What I'm asking you, you told me to ask. Steven is a little slow, guys. Yeah, just a little bit. So it says, what does this next step look like for your relationship? Like the apartment moving? Yeah, like us moving together. Uh... Honestly, like, it's just, you know, it's a new step, you know. Some people take it at different times in, in their life. Like, some people take it, you know, when they're older, when they're younger. You know, everybody got their own timings, to be honest. So you really can't judge people. But, you know, it's all God, God's plannings and, you know, just trusting in the Lord and just keep going, you know. You know, we got to go. We're going to achieve that shit. We're not going to let no excuses. And, yeah, I mean, once... Like once you in love and you see all you see things different. It's not like little kid mindset. It's kind of like grown man mindset. So it's just like you gotta just you gotta go. You gotta kill. You gotta 
you got to eat to live in this world. So that's what I got to say. I feel like, okay. Come on, twin. I feel like it's going to like mature our relationship a lot. And I feel like a lot of things are going to change because we're obviously living together. Wait, what the, what did I say? Did I even answer the question right? No, probably not. I didn't, already. Okay, babe, what the hell? Yeah, it's going to mature our relationship. That's my answer. If I didn't. So I cut the other part out? Yeah, no, keep that shit. You're so slow. It says, what made you fall in love with Steven? Um, his ugly face. I'm kidding. Um, I don't know. Just the way that he was, like, when we first, like, went on our first date, he didn't, like, try anything slick. And he was, like, very respectful. And, yeah, he was just himself. What? Nothing. Okay, it says, would you guys be doing 50-50 and cleaning and cooking? By the way, I love y'all. Hell no, nah, she cooking. I don't know how to cook. Cleaning, I'll be cleaning. Should be cleaning. I can cook like some steak, but when it comes to like, like actual food, no, he don't know how to cook. Yeah, I get lazy. Right, I just be sitting on sitting on the couch. Bro, he be sitting on the couch, and I be like, okay, food's ready. He gets up in like five minutes. He sits on his phone, and then he gets up to eat. Okay, it says your favorite trait of Steven and slash Jackie. So, what's your favorite trait about me? You better not say nothing dumb. <laughs> you better not. Nah, I'm gonna keep this shit a book. What I really like about Jackie is even when I met her, like she kind of just stood out, not just cause, you know her look and shit. Like that's that's what any fuckboy would say. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna say that shit. What really stood out about Jackie was you know the way that I am. I'm kind of like I'm kind of like different from another guy. Like not like looks wise, but like my personality. Like I'm goofy. yeah, we're just like. Like I'm goofy, like and you know I would have I would always be with my homeboys and shit. I'd be like, hey, you know, like I can't really be myself with a girl. Like you know I can only be myself with my dogs, you know, my homeboys and shit. And you know, short story first, I met Jackie. You know, I was just test- short story first. I was testing it out, and I started being myself, and she started going with the flow, and I was like, oh, okay, you know, like I could be myself around you, and it just kind of like touched my heart. And that's probably like the main reason I fell in love, like just. <sighs> Other than her stank ass attitude, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. okay, what is an advice you have for? Pe- okay, just make me look like more <laughs> of a, like a grandma, bro. Okay, wear your glasses like this. <laughs> <laughs> bro, stop! All right. Neighbors are gonna wake up. Yeah, with your loud ass legs. Okay, people. what is an advice you have for people who want to move out around our age? Have mm-hmm. money, like yeah. have money. Not only it doesn't only come with money, but make sure that your relationship is set and y'all both want it. You know what I mean. And also have money saved up because, like, if one can't provide, then one person has to provide everything. You know what I mean. So it's like just make sure that y'all can both kind of do it, and if not, then one person can at least do it. What about you? I mean, like I said, everybody got different timings. To be honest, like nobody's. Yeah, not just because me and Steven moved out. At our age, everybody has to move out of our at our age. Like, I mean, situations were different. You not know? just that, but, like, you know, other people, you know, they just see the situation different. You know, some people want to move out later on, you know, when things were right. But, you know, with my situation, it kind of just happened kind of quick. But, you know, it worked out. And, you know, sometimes you got to just take that risk and, you know. But for sure, put the Lord first because he's going to help you no matter what. So that's probably like my number one thing. So It says, are you planning to have kids? If so, how many do you want? I want two. Shit, I want like 10. <laughs> Get somebody else to do it because I ain't doing it. Yeah, I want kids, but just not right now. Like, yeah, not right now. I, I mean, like, if it happens, it happens. But we're not planning to have kids. Don't say no because you know what you'll be doing, you cochino. <laughs> freaking nasty yeah but nah my mom says not right now like yeah whenever we're kind of like when she graduates her school or, you know i'm still gonna like i'm, a, I'm still gonna apoy out her like how you say apoy apoya. and English. support i'm still gonna support her you know with her financials and school and stuff like i want her to i don't want her to stop her shit because of a guy like that's what all these girls do but I don't want my girl to... I got something on my teeth. Depending on the guy, you know, I want my girl to have her own motion too. That way we both balling. And we go to the strip club, you know what I'm saying? Boy. 
Yeah. 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 What are your guys' pet peeves about each other? I stank guys' attitude and her fucking... When she's on her period. Like Reina. Um, stank guys' attitude. When she tries to entertain the people that are relevant on lives, when she entertains all these bullshit-ass people, yeah. I got a lot. I got a little naughty list on. On but, me? Yeah. But... My pet peeve about Steven is that... Um... I don't know... What's my pet peeve? That he don't wash his hair with his nasty ass. Boy, That'd be stinky. Nah, hell nah, babe. That whole stink. You stink. Um, I don't know. Sometimes his smart ass. He just be saying smart ass shit and I don't <laughs> like it. <laughs> that, that's literally it. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Like earlier. Favorite place to have blank... What's your favorite place to have blank? The naughty? Yeah. We don't even do that shit, so. But only on cam. Only on cam. Uh, uh, in bed. In bed, though, fuck. In bed, yeah. It used to be it. his car. Yeah, no, I never liked that shit. Like I that. did. I'll be. Okay, babe. Whatever she, you she, say. She's out with Camaro, you know. Yeah, you, know, you don't gotta talk too much. All right, next question. What's the best memory you have with Steven? The lights. Oh. I loved like when we y'all went go to watch the our YouTube video, the Christmas lights. If y'all haven't watched, and it. then whenever like we first got back together, like whenever we went to that thing, sis Mika or whatever it was, that was a really cute day. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I really liked that. Guys, fun fact: me and Jack used to go and would be like, man, what if we just went back home, you know, to our apartment? Shit Bro, like we used that. to, yeah, like we used to want to manifest it all the time, but you know. Timing did its thing. Or Not, God did its thing. No manifestation. That's just real. How do you guys maintain a happy mindset? I mean, life's too short, you know. Everybody, you know, you wake up, you see people die, you know. It's, it's people get sick. You got to just give glory for waking up every day. Even when you, don't, when you have a bad day at work, you know. It's the best thing, the most underrated blessing is getting home safe, driving. I always think. You know, mm. Every time you can even have Jackie, I'd be like, dang, every, every time I get off the freeway, bro, I'd be, yeah. Yeah, he do be doing so that. So it's like, you gotta just look at life different whenever you see other people are struggling, people are in the hospital or in jail. Like, you see that shit different. So, so I, mean, I see it different. I think people should see it different, though. Yeah. Right. What was the process of getting the apartment and where did y'all start? We started like literally a week before i like started packing my stuff Ooh. so whenever y'all were in my comments talking about oh why are you packing y'all don't even have this this and that the whole time me and steven already knew what kind of like what what our plan was but we went and we toured different apartments and you know if that apartment wasn't for us it wasn't for us yeah we but... looked at like six apartments mm -hmm. we, we looked at a lot that label that label can i get a car my Babe, what, what are you laughing at? <laughs> it's difficult at first. We were just looking at a lot of apartments and we even like paid a lot of fees too. Application uh, fees? Applications, but you know, it's part of the process and we ended up finding this one. We found the area, it's a nice area. Everything. Literally the same day that we came to tour it, we got it. Yeah. And we had the lease. Yeah, so we kind of just got lucky. We got a good deal, kind of. Kind of, that's a very good deal, babe. So, yeah, I mean, it was just ups and downs, but that's part of it. I mean, obviously, we started, like, at his mom's while the whole process was, like, Oh, yeah, know? our process was long. You know, we were staying at a hotel, motel, my, my, my mom's crib, like. Yeah, until he told his parents. And then everybody and thought, you. you know, Jackie was going to stay at my mom's. You know, everybody was saying all this shit. But you kinda, you're living at mommy's house. You kind of just, like, move in silence, and then you just pop out. That's what you got to do. The air haters are going to talk. Everybody's going to talk. The whole time we already had this apartment. Yeah, we've been had this apartment. Like, we were just waiting for our lease to start because, you know, people got to move out when they yeah. lease. So, but I don't let that shit get to me. Jackie be arguing with nobody, so that's fair. Okay. Next question, gang. Do you like your apartment? Yeah. Yes, our apartment is literally like. I like the area, like the area we're at. It's, it's like it's it not has like, everything. It's not like ghetto. Like I mean, I don't judge type shit, but it's just like it's it's peaceful. Mm, do you regret moving in with Steven? Not at all. Yeah, yeah. 
So you will regret moving with me. Hell uh, yeah. I wish I was moving with you. Okay then. <laughs> no, yes. I love this thing. <sighs> okay, how are you feeling mentally about everything happening? I mean, it's better, you know? Like at first it wasn't, but now everything's better. Do you see yourself with Steven in 10 years? Do you see yourself with me in 10 years? Let me see. Do I really see myself in 10 years? Why are you looking at me? I look like a grandma, you know? <laughs> yes. Pinche culo, yes. Okay. Do you have to do that? Uh, How's everything with your mom? It's there. You know, like things will get better eventually. I know y'all like be wanting me to spill to you about my mom, but I'm not going to do it. Hey, Chano, if you're watching this, what's up? I love you, Chano. I'm Mateo and Samantha and Kiki and Junior. So it says, do you plan on getting pregnant? No. No, nah, hell no, nah, not yet. No plans. Did you ever get your vanity? Yeah, we're using it right now. When and where was y'all's first date? Yeah, I kind of regret getting this tattoo. Hey, I told you it was ugly. I told you. I it's told not you. Ugly, and that's what you get. That's your karma. That's your karma right there. All right, then I fuck with that whole word. That whole sexy. <laughs> that whole sexy. Mm. Just because you said that that shit's sexy as fuck. You just said you regret it. All right, what's the next question? Uh, when and where was y'all's first date? Oh, it was at Gloria's. Yeah, we went to Baybrook Mall. We went yeah. to Gloria's. I remember every day, everything about that day. And then Steven and me had a whack ass kiss our first date. It was like, like literally, like we like. Yeah, it's because I was nervous. I was like, should I kiss her? Like, kind of started. Wait, liking, babe, you know? didn't we go to Dave and Buster's too? Yeah, we went to Dave and Buster's. Yeah. Yeah, we had a fun time. Oh okay. yeah, it was a good day. How did y'all meet? Uh, well, I met her before, like on an interview. And he had a girlfriend. But I was still. What the fuck did I do? He had a girlfriend, and I wanted to hit on him. And his homie goes like, "No, he got a girlfriend." I said, "But I want him." And then I had to wait. And Steven said he followed me already. <sighs> did, did you actually know who I was? Yeah, I seen you because of yo. Seen little forest video or some shit like that. But yeah, point wait, short story first. Babe, why are you saying like that? What? Short story first. Yeah, like short story first. Okay. Go. How the fuck do you supposed to say it? Okay, go. Yeah, short short story first. Uh I've been seeing Jackie like on TikTok and shit. Like she's a little famous girl, you know what I'm saying? So I had to shoot my shot. And I ignored him. Yeah, nah. Yes, I did. I, I ignored know. you the first couple yeah, of times. Yeah, she did. She did ignore me and you and know, then I fell in love. Steve did his thing, you know. Breeze her up. Hit that hit her with the Babe, don't you ever do that. I'ma zoom into your face right now. I hit her with that hoe and she said, Fuck you, daddy. Alright, guess somebody else do it. Alright, next question, we Are you a dropout? Nah. <laughs> no. Do you plan on getting married? You better marry me. Yeah, we plan on getting married each other, but just not right now. Um, how many times a week do you guys do the D? Nothing. Literally the whole week. What are you talking about? No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. We literally, sometimes we just, it's like we go to bed. Literally, I'd be tired, bro. I just be. <sighs> but, you know. Shut up. You freaking cochino, bro. What's one thing that has brought you and Steven closer? Communication. Despito. Steven? I'm just kidding. Yes. Uh, honestly, communication got better from this girl right here, so. Mm -hmm, kind of mm -hmm, glad mm -hmm. it did. Cause, mm -hmm, man. Mm -hmm. This is not a question at all, but God bless y'all. God bless you and Steven and y'all's new chapter. <sighs> Thank, Thank you. you. I Thank love you. You. Uh, you too. Are you tired? Yeah, I look tired. Mm. Guys, it's 12 18. They said, Do you guys still have a connection with God? Love only if comfortable answer. Yeah, we have a connection with God. God comes first before anything. And if you don't have God in the middle of your relationship, it's not going to work. And before y'all say anything about all this stuff, like, yes, things happen. Sin is real. You know, repent is real too. So I'm not going to get deep into that stuff, but nobody's perfect in this world. And if you think you're perfect, then you're not. Hmm. You're such an inspiration. How do you do it with, like, all the hate comments? I love you, thank you. But... Well, mm. she be... 
I be yeah, I be like sometimes I'm laugh at them, you know, like I can't babe, there's times where I'm like make funny comments about it and I'll be and I'll laugh, but there's times where like I just like answer them mad, but like people are annoying, you know? Like they act like they know it all. Dale wey, porque tenemos unos 10 minutos ya hablando. Oh, y a ti, sí. y a ti qué? What is your opinion on your mom and your boyfriend situation? There's no opinion on that. Like time thing, heals. Time yeah, heals. time heals and things happen. And things will get better. Trust me. Trust. When are you starting your own business? Oh. If I start my own business, there will probably be merch. But when I'm making millions of money because it's expensive. Okay, and then how are you going to make the millions of money? By selling my... By starting with your merch. You don't just start merch. I'm going to sell my toes, remember? No, you start merch. It's called a grind. You got to step, step, step. Yes, step, babe. Step, yes, step. yes. I know. So, yes, we plan to do merch. Yes, that's the answer from Steve-O. Yes, yes. You're going to pay for it or what? No, bro, you're gonna then, pay for that shit. You're gonna work for that shit. Then it's gonna be my merch, then. Okay, yeah. Your no, merch. I wanna make merch with you. What do you love most about Steven? I already answered that. What is your guilty pleasure food? Fucking hot Cheetos. Okay, with, and? With Valentina, that's nasty, bro. Mm, any tips on financially being stable, moving out? Like how to be financially stable That shit gets expensive bro. You, you kind of just have to save I mean Yeah save But you gotta have Income You know Good income Decent income Weekly Cause you know You got bills and stuff Not just your rent You're paying light bill That shit is expensive Yeah I plan on getting another dog Yes Next year I think I don't know if I should get Bruno a brother Or get him a girlfriend A girlfriend He's I, not having a damn girlfriend Cause I want him to, I want to start him out And then you know Probably start selling Frenchies how do you deal with females who stay trying to home wreck? I've been in three plus years and still get jealous. Love you. I mean, if you know that your man's not going to cheat on you, then why even get mad? It's like when girls try to hit up Steven. Like, I can't even get mad. Like, people are going to find your man attractive, and that's normal. Just how people are going to find me attractive, and Steven don't care. Boy, what are you doing? Yeah, if I'm going to check it like that, bro. Yeah, they find you attractive. You act like they don't mean your DMs. Do you miss high school? Hell nah. Uh, 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 nah. Hell nah. Don't say that shit. Hell nah. Hell nah. Hell nah. Just say no. No. Yeah, there you go. Advice for toxic couples. <laughs> what are you laughing at? What are you laughing at? You're picking your boogers? You're going Chino. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Read the question again. Advice for toxic couples. Why are you doing that, babe? We're not toxic. Yeah, we're actually not. Like, to be honest, we used to a little. We not, used to like argue. Not really. We weren't like, toxic, but we would argue over the dumbest social things. Social media is toxic. That's really mm-hmm, what it's mm-hmm, toxic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But not to be honest, you just deal with it with your partner. You talk to them, you communicate, and shit. If you don't want to communicate, then that's their problem. You know, they're not gonna want to fix it for you. What's the hardest thing about living with your partner? Mm, I got a smartest girl's farts when she wakes up. Bro, you smart. last night you farted, you farted in your sleep and it smelled so bad. Like what? Like so bad, babe. Like, like what? huevos pudridos. That smells like, good. No, like yes. pudridos. Yeah, that shit smells good. I really eat that shit. Huevos pudridos. Babe. That's rotten eggs. Hell yeah. Babe, you're nasty, bro. That that was nasty. Last night, I was like... Bro, actually farted? Yes, I was like this. Why don't you wake me up? I did. I told you, and you laughed. (laughs) I was like, babe, you just farted, and you were like, hmm, I did. (laughs) But you were like asleep. What are you laughing at? That was Bruno. He don't even sleep with us. That way, next question. Stop exposing me. Hmm. What's the most embarrassing thing y'all did in public? Argue at pluckers. <laughs> Stop. That's funny. And then people commented on our thing. We seen y'all at pluckers, and me and Steven were just sitting there like we argued the whole time. <laughs> what time y'all usually go to bed? Like twelve, one. It depends. It's probably like twelve, most likely, because I be in at like an eight sometimes. 
And fun fact, I'm gonna start working out with, you know, this queen. So I'll probably get home late, probably even, it's probably like two. And then I gotta wake up early sometimes, like seven, eight, nine, depends. It says, did you feel a change after moving in with Steven? Mm -hmm. I just feel like I'm more comfortable. Like, like there's not a day that goes by where I question like, oh, should I do this? Like, nah, I'm gonna do that shit regardless. And she's gonna either laugh at what I'm doing or, you know, I'm just used to it already. Like, like I don't even gotta double think anything. Hmm. Any exciting trips planned for this year? We're going to Disney. Yeah. Hopefully for I'm my birthday. Taking her for her birthday, so. Yep, Let's yep, manifest yep. that. And it's gonna come true. See you, scary. Uh, what is one thing you wish you did sooner? Mm. Nothing. I feel like everything happened at its perfect timing. You know, because when you when you wish things happen sooner, like they, I feel like they always end up like bad, and something bad happens whenever. Regardless, you, like a bad situations, you know, you're always yeah. thankful because there's always a better at the end. Like even when people go to breakups or problems financially like you know it's all it says if you really think about it it's all it says how tall are we i'm 4'11 to make you stronger i'm 4'11 how tall are you like 4'10 4'10 babe i'm 4'11 i know i'm 4'10 okay no i'm like 5'9 i'm kind of short who wears the pants in the relationship Shit, me me hell no me she thinks she does but reality she thinks that I owe her. I do. If I say so, we do so. Fuck no. Why are you lying? Because it's an argument. Because I'm always right. No. Mm, what is y'all's dream trip? Bahamas. Mm -hmm. Bahamas. How, how has social media changed your relationship? Hmm. I mean, there's been situations where, like, it kind of got bad, but, you know, that situation ended up happening, and it made us better, so there you go. You know, much. we haven't ar argued like things, at all. Like, things like that happen for a reason. That's what I'm saying to the last question. Whatever you're going through, arguments, breakups, financial problems, you know, it's a test. Like I said, it's a test to make y'all better, Social media is very toxic. So especially when people have followers, you know, like they tend to get in people's business a lot. So, okay. What is y'all's love language? We're, I feel like we're both clingy. Like, and then like, also it's just like a lot of physical touch. Like I can't go to sleep without sometimes like cuddling with Steven or like, I'll just like randomly want to be with him, like this close to him. I think that's like our love language, right? Guys, should I grow out a beer? Should I keep my tea? Are you just gonna ignore me? Yes, our love language is cuddling. Can't believe I'm saying that, but yes. Simpas. <laughs> you want a son or a daughter first? A son. I want a little Steve O. What like, does your boyfriend's family feel about y'all moving in together? Answer or what? Yeah. Uh, they're actually very, like, supporting. And one thing I kind of did, I wish, was tell them earlier. But, you know, my mom was out of town. And my dad, I don't really see him. But well, one thing, too, is I wish I could spend more time with my parents. Because my dad's always out of town. My mom's always working. But they're supportive and you know at first they thought she was pregnant like you know but now you know she understood that things go on toxic environments sometimes you got to get out of them and they'll get better over time and you know i'm just kind of glad i had my parents that are there for me you know you know i can't speak towards other people because you know i don't know how it feels to not have parents that don't accept you and support you but you know you gotta just let that play out and i'm just thankful for my mom and my dad they told me welcome to the family officially so yeah they're happy they're very happy they all like jackie my brothers my mom my dad and you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm, i love mm -hmm. my parents though i love your mommy and don't sergio <laughs> my dad are y'all going to be doing pranks or more mini vlogs hey yeah, yeah i'm finna mm. i don't know about you but you might get some headaches because of me I feel like I'm gonna see another side of me if he pranks me with something dumb, bro. 
Have we thought about what? <laughs> Don't forget, I'm gonna edit this video. Have you ever thought about moving away from Houston? Mm. Probably yeah, but I kind of already did, but not. No, not really, no. but like I want to get out of Houston. Like I want to get out of like the city. city. I want to go to like I don't know Austin. Hell no, nah, that's like lame. the state. Yeah, that's it, lame. I want to go somewhere up, like, like where it's nice and there's like ranchos and shit. Like, oh well, yeah, babe. Like you want to get like a uh, land. Yeah, with land. Like you want to build your house from the bottom up. I want to have my big ass crib one day, which I am gonna have. I wanna have. I wanna have some. I wanna have some ducks. I wanna have cows and horses. Nah, fuck that. That's That's right, you know right. what? I wanna have like twenty Frenchies. That way, Bruno don't feel lonely. They're just gonna be running around in our land. And then I have four wheelers. Oh yeah. And then I wanna have uh, strippers. And then I wanna have. Did you hear that? Did you hear what he just says? Yeah. All right, that's where we're cutting the camera because he wants to be done. Uh. Nah, it says, do you think Steven is the one? No, he wants strippers, <laughs> like, get somebody else to do it. Hmm. Okay. Do I think Jackie's the one? Yeah. What because do you do when I you're... I feel like she look like me. And <laughs> she look like me. And she, she acts just like me. And I can be myself. And I feel like the way I live, I feel like other girls would probably judge me on some real shit. So, what do you do when your boyfriend ignores you for hours on the end? Should I leave? If your significant other can go all day without talking to you, you should not be with him. Boy, he just working. He how do you work. know he's working? I'm getting his money though. Fuck. Okay, how do you know he's working? So what if you? What if I was a? Uh, like, what if I wasn't answering you? And, and I'm pulling up on you, bro. And I'm pulling you up on you. And I'm checking your shit. And I'm and I'm strapping up. I'm like, who the fuck are you with? Okay. What is something <laughs> you regret? Like in a relationship or in life? In life. Nothing. Nothing either. I don't regret nothing. Nothing. I don't think there's any more. How was y'all's first kiss? <laughs> ass. It was ass, but shit. How about now? Since Steven sucked your toe, have you ever sucked his or would you? My toes? Yeah. She did. She beat in my ass. Bro, why would you say that? They're actually going to believe that. I kiss his toes, like, whenever I, like, cut his toenails. But, like, I don't suck them. Like, that's disgusting. What has kept you so strong dealing with all the hate? As an F, I love you, baby girl. Isn't that Luna's charming? Yeah. Oh, I say S and A. That's her name. Wait, Luna's charming is the one with the cases? No. Wait, what does Luna's charming send me? Sweatshirts. Oh, she doesn't have made a red one? Mm hmm. Okay, oh, so game. Literally, you know, I don't deal with it. I just let social media do its thing. Boy, hell no, she don't keep up with the hate. She keeps on the hate. <laughs> Literally, she be feeling off that shit. Luna, don't send her shit. Start sending me some shit. I'm telling you the real shit. You know what I mean? Guys, Steven wants to be on PR so bad. Like, Yeah, why? Why can't I get some stuff? Like, Mary, if you're watching this. Ivan has a shoe brand. Ivan, what's up? You know, send me some little Yeezy, some little... <laughs> No, what's up? Send me some Air Forces. We have to go visit them. Send me a little something so you know I'll sponsor your shit. I got, I got like millions of views on my stuff. Ew, babe, don't do that. Okay, guys, this is where we're going to end it because I have to edit and... Baby, if you was a rapper, how would you pose? Boy, don't do that lame the for real. Okay. But like... Ew, hell no. With my fake grills. Steven, yo, dude, you actually look like you could be a rapper. You want to expose my forehead before? Chill. <laughs> hey. Guys, if I go bald, I think Jackie's not going to date me, to be honest. Okay. Just hit my glasses. All right. So, guys, 
I want to thank everybody for supporting us and being proud of us and buying stuff off our Amazon wish list. We love y'all so, so much. And I can't wait to prank him. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Not shit. What are you laughing at? Because you're not pranking shit, boy. You're not pranking shit on my mommy. Don't be putting that on your mommy. All right. On Simba. Okay. All right, guys. Anyways, thank everybody that, you know, sent us some items. You know, the wish list is still up there. If y'all do want to support, you don't have to. But uh, we got in a lot of stuff lately. And, you know, without y'all's help, you know, we do not story. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, thank y'all for everything. Uh, you know, I appreciate it. Jackie appreciates it, too. And, you know, we got a lot of stuff we want to start doing, you know, to looking up to, you know, having an apartment is a big responsibility. So keep that in mind if we start slacking a little bit. But, you know, we're not going to use it as, a, as an excuse. We're going to be straight. We're going to be Gucci. Oh, my breast stings. Like, smell it. it smells like burgers, right? So, yeah, guys, that's what I got to say. Thank y'all for the tour. Thank y'all for the q and If y'all watched the last video, if y'all watched the full video, drop a little... Um, drop a little drop a star emoji no a house a house emoji. oh yeah drop a house emoji everybody yeah. drop a house emoji or a if star y'all, y'all seen the whole whole video all right gang yeah make sure to like comment share subscribe do y'all sting i love you